Hello Internet World, welcome to my review of the OWC Thunderbolt Hub. This was very kindly sent in to me free of charge for this video by the manufacturer. No money's exchange hands. They haven't asked me to say anything in particular, just to share with you my opinion and experience of using this over the past few weeks. And I must say straight away, this is going to remain in my setup. It is that good. Let's take a closer look. So this is what you get inside the box with the OWC Thunderbolt hub. You get the power adapter. I must mention that this is a multi voltage power adapter. So it works 100 volts to 240 volts, 50 or 60 Hertz. And this end here plugs into the uh, Thunderbolt hub itself. And then the opposing end has got an IEC type connector. So you can use a country specific cable inside this multi-voltage adapter. Uh, the one that's supplied inside the box is a two pin design on this end to go into your wall outlet. And then this end here plugs into the power adapter. And then we've also got included inside the box a Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 cable. Uh, so Thunderbolt 3 uh, compatible with this uh, or Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 as well. Now on Mac systems you're going to use Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C and on compatible PC systems you're going to use Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4. So nice that they include a really good cable inside the box. You'd also get this little uh, sheet with some information here. It says here the Thunderbolt hub adds three Thunderbolt 4 ports and one USB port to Thunderbolt Macs and PCs. It works with uh, Mac OS 11 or later and Windows 10 or later as well. And there's just some extra information about uh, contacting support if you would need to. And then of course, we've got the little hub itself and OWC always do a fantastic job on the build quality of their hubs. Uh, I really do like this. We've got little tiny rubberized feet on the bottom. We've got a metal surround on the circumference of the product and then this sort of glossy plastic on the top. I do wish this wasn't gloss because it does pick up fingerprints and dust a little bit easier, but it does look like a really nice quality device. And let's take a look around the ports. We've got a Thunderbolt port on the front here. Uh, this is the host port where you're gonna connect your computer, something like a laptop or a desktop, for example. And then you've got USB 3.2 on the front, 10 gigabits per second max speed. Little LED light and some branding on this edge here. And then completely blank on both sides. And then round on the back here, we've got all the very useful ports. We've got the input for that power supply. We've also got a little tiny slot here for a Kensington lock, if you wanna tether this down to a desk. And then we've also got an additional three Thunderbolt USB four ports as well. Now you'll notice that above each of the ports on the back and on the front, there are tiny little holes and these have got threaded holes above them. This is so that we can securely attach the appropriate cable keepers to keep the cables in place. So if you wanna secure your cables down into these connections, then you can do so. Now I tested this with my MacBook Pro it worked absolutely flawlessly. This is sort of the device I've been looking for for a long, long time, because normally, if you look at Thunderbolt hubs, normally they add two Thunderbolt ports, one for the host and one additional one, and then normal USB ports. This one takes things one step further and adds in an extra two Thunderbolt ports. That is very, very useful indeed. Full speed, uh, full data throughput on this, a very useful hub to extend the usability of either your uh, laptop, ultrabook, or desktop computer. Now, I'm gonna be using this with one of the M1 Mac Minis because it's a very compact device. It can sit very, very nicely on the desk, not taking up too much space. It's superbly built and comes highly recommended. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This is the OWC Thunderbolt Hub. If you wanna pick up one for yourself, check out the links down in the video description. Hit like on this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in another video very, 
very soon.